actually doing this video segment because after 23 years of being in this job, there's only really two major things that get under my skin as a repo man. One is pretend -a men which is what I call repo men that pretend to do what I do. And then there's the ones that go out and try to act like they are law enforcement. They wear badges. Uh, they have hats that say police or SWAT or sheriff's department on it. A lot of times these guys even are ex-law uh, enforcement. They were a cop for 15 years and then they get out of law enforcement. They wash out because they wash out. And then they go in and start doing my job. You know, and, and they, they can't separate what they used to do and what they do now. And, and it's very clear in the law that you cannot uh, be under what's called color of law, which is, is making people believe that you have anything to do with state, local government, uh, law enforcement whatsoever when you're out doing a repossession. This is a civil matter, and in no way, shape, or form should you ever give any indication whatsoever that you are uh, with law enforcement, you know. Um, and it goes on and on and on from there. But anyways... I have a repo out right now on a repo man, if he wants to call himself that. Uh, he went out and did a title loan for X amount of money with one of my uh, lenders and then has never paid anything on it. A lot of times this is a, a ploy to try to draw out who the repo man is for, this, for, a, for a competitor and a lot of times do this to see who comes after them and stuff. And that's kind of what I figure is going on here, but this guy hasn't made any effort whatsoever to pay on this title loan. and. Uh, I was out cruising around on the motorcycle checking addresses and I come across his truck uh, parked over here in a parking lot under the shade with a repo on the back. And I mean, even the truck he's driving isn't the right equipment. He's got a, a, a swing lift that barely lifts his little teeny Jimmy inches off the ground. I mean, I'll pull up, you'll see how high the tires are off the ground on the repo he's pulling. Not even uh, safe, you know, to be pulling down the freeway and stuff. The, the, the butt end of this truck is just sagged all the way to the ground. I mean, it's. He's using equipment that's outdated, unsafe. Uh, he's got all these accounts spread all over his dashboard. I can walk up and I can read the social security numbers and the dates of birth of all these people's accounts that are just sitting on his dashboard. It doesn't take any security precautions to hide any of the information from his uh, lender's uh, clients. It's just strewed across his dashboard. And this fat ass is laying, sleeping in the front seat of his car, passed out cold, wearing a hat that says police. So I'm going to pull up on this guy. We're going to pull up quiet at first. I'm going to walk around a little bit and show a little bit of what I've seen. Uh, I've already had some fun with my camera and walked around and snapped some pictures for my own, you know, biography, uh, portfolio of idiots. Anyways, but we'll uh, pull up quietly first. We'll get a little bit of video footage of uh, this numb nuts, and then I'm going to wake him up and talk to him about this title loan he hasn't paid on. So we'll see how this goes here.
What a freaking joke. Anyhow, yeah, so now we're going to pull around and we're going to wake his uh, ass up to see what he has to say about the title on the paid on. Mr. Hamlin, how are you, you doing? Tired. I hear you. You've been working all night? Yeah, I've been down in Texas too. Texas? Yeah. That's a long haul. Is that where this came from? No. Uh, I've been down there working for another company to get myself out of hole. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. You know why I'm stopping by, right? Yeah, I'm stopping by. Yeah. Their title them? Yep. That's what I've been down there working. Yeah, what about the vehicle? Yeah, I hear you. What about the vehicle? Can I get it picked up? The Ranger? You can lose it. I got so much money. Well, you won't lose it. I mean, we'll just pick it up and hold it over here at our impound lot. I mean, these guys, they don't want to sell the vehicle, but I got to show that I'm doing my job, you know? Okay. Okay. Where, where do you want to meet at? Salt Lake or where do you want to go? Over here? Okay. About what time you think? Uh, I'll be up in Salt Lake then. Um,. You know where my yard's at, right? You dropped some stuff off there before for Ace. You want you want to just put it in the parking lot there behind Diamond? Okay. Yeah, I mean you're right. They're not gonna sell it. They don't want to sell it, you know. They, but they but I gotta show them that I'm doing my job, you know, and making content. You know how it works. So busy, you know. The economy, unfortunately, seeing a lot of people that are unemployed and stuff right now. Yeah, a lot of door knocks right now. People want you to go out and just get people to come back in and, and make their payments and stuff. So, I'm telling you, down there, it's it's crazy here. Texas? Yeah. Yeah, That's for sure. Really? What part? Well, my hometown is about Falls. Oh. Houston. Houston, oh, so you're way down in the middle there. Yeah. I spent a little time up in Dallas doing some security work for a while. It wasn't too bad. How's Ron doing? You know, I don't talk to him much anymore. I heard his truck's down right now. He's co he's covered up north. So, he's, I think he's still doing stuff up there for uh, uh, Holly and stuff. Not much. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm working on is her stuff. That's her stuff right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I recognize that one. That distance is big time for this one. Yeah, I know. All right, well, cool. Well, I mean, you know I don't want to be down tracking you down and stuff down there in Harriman and stuff. Come by your apartment and stuff. So I just rather, rather just, you know, like I said, they ain't going to liquidate it because they don't want, I mean, they ain't going to get nothing out of it. So, but if you can, if you can, even if you want to just tell me, hey, here's where it's parked on the street. You know how it works. I'll just get it picked up and stuff, and then that way I can report back to the manager that I've picked it up, and then we'll go from there. So, all right. Well, you get some more sleep if you need it. Okay. Take it easy.